Hello everyone, our model is life story from the book Super Goal. Let's start with this picture. I wanted to you put sen sentences using used to and didn't use to. For example, people used to get news from the radio. People didn't use to get news from the internet. People used to play more games. And people didn't use to watch TV. I want you now to listen and answer some questions. Prince Sultan bin Salman Abdul Aziz Al Saud is a member of the Saudi royal family. He was born in Riyadh on June 27, 1956. He is a grandson of King Abdul Aziz. Prince Sultan was educated in Riyadh. After high school, he went on to study communications and aviation in the United States. He completed a bachelor's in mass communications and later a master's in social and political science. While in the U.S., he also became a certified pilot. After university, he began working as a researcher for the Department of International Communications in the Saudi Ministry of Information. He also served on the Saudi Media Committee during the Los Angeles Olympics in 1984, and later that same year, he was appointed to the Department of Advertising in the Ministry of Information. The following year, Prince Sultan joined the Royal Saudi Air Force and retired with the rank of colonel in 1996. In June 1985, Prince Sultan made history when he became the first Saudi astronaut, the first Muslim, and the first member of royalty to travel in space. He flew aboard the space shuttle STS-51G Discovery to launch a satellite for the Arab Satellite Communications Corporation. Prince Sultan spent seven days in space and circled the Earth 111 times. Following the flight, he helped establish the Association of Space Explorers, an international organization for astronauts who have traveled in space. Prince Sultan later devoted his time to helping improve conditions for the disabled. In 1988, he became chairman of the Disabled Children's Association and later co-founded the Prince Salman Center for Disability Research. The prince also developed a special interest in preserving Saudi architectural heritage. So, if we are going to classify the events of Prince Sultan, we are going to start that he was born in 1956 in Riyadh. He completed university and flight training in the U.S. He started working for the Ministry of Information. He was on the Saudi Media Committee during the 1984 Olympics. Also, he flew abroad the Space Shuttle Discovery. He began helping organizations for the disabled. He became involved in preserving Saudi Articultural Heritage, and he became Secretary General of the Saudi Commission for Tourism and Antiquities. Now, if I ask you some questions about you, the answers are going to be vary from one student to another, like where were you born, where did you grow up, like in Riyadh or wherever, where is your family from, like from Saudi Arabia or from America or whatever, did you used to live in a different place? If your answer is yes, then tell me where, if it is no, then it's no. Also, what games did you use to play? Like, I used to play what kind of games? Did you ever meet a friend somewhere by chance? If it is yes, then tell me. Explain, like, I met one of my friends when I was 10 years old, where we were in a zoo, and so on. If it is no, just no. Where did you meet your best friend? Like, in school, in neighbors, in a zoo? Did you ever take part in an activity to help a community? If it is yes, tell me what did you do. If it is no, just no. Now I want you to listen to the real talk. Your basketball team, the Falcons, is now leading the junior league. So how did the team start? Our coach posted a note on the bulletin board at our high school asking for players. The team was formed from the group of hopeful athletes that turned up at the gym. Do you still have the original team members? Yeah. Charlie and Dave are forwards, Carlos plays shooting guard, and I'm the point guard. But Trevor... What about your center forward? When did he join the team? Trevor came along a few months later. He used to play on another team, but he wasn't into the attitude of the players. He said they weren't serious enough, so he joined our team. Where did you practice? And where did you play? We used to practice in the school gym, but now we use the sports center. It has better facilities. We started in B Division, but now we're in A Division. When did your first big break come? 
So the real talk, to turn up means to appear unexpectedly. What about used to introduce a new topic, to be into something, to be interested in or to like, and big break, important opportunity. Now, if I want you to make a fake and not real interview, you can start like who turned up at the gym, a group of athletic students. What about your favorite athlete? He was there too. Do you know when these teams had their big break? Yes, I do. It was two years ago. If we want to put the real talk in the sentences, we can say Ali is the one who turned up late in the exam. I know you like burgers, but what about food? Do you like them too? Sarah is a good listener, but she's not into speaking a lot. And they got their big break in math competition two months ago. So we learned about old habits, classifying events, answering questions, and the real talk. Thank you for listening.